When you are hosting a Zoom event, especially a large one, you want complete control of the environment. The following configurations in Zoom will help you to achieve this objective. Let me show you how. When I host a Zoom meeting, I like to keep my screen organized. The main screen will have all the participants and I can switch between gallery view and speaker view. And to my right, I can keep track of people who are waiting in the lobby and whether I should admit them or no. The list of participants currently in the meeting room and what is their status, where they are muted, their videos are on. And also, I keep a small window at the bottom here to track all the chat that's happening in the meeting. When a participant starts sharing his window, the default behavior of Zoom is to maximize your window so that you can see the content clearly. For example, in this case, when the participant shared his window, we could see that Zoom has maximized my window. If I'm a host, this is not very practical because I lose track of the participants, I lose track of the chat, and I lose track of the waiting room. If you are a host, the first thing you need to do is to change your screen settings. And you do that by clicking on this arrow next to the stop video icon. Click video settings and go to share screen. Ensure both of these options are disabled. Do not enter the full screen or maximize the zoom window if a participant starts sharing. If the participant starts sharing his screen now, for example, you see my screen doesn't change. It doesn't maximize. It doesn't become full screen. The next setting that I like to enable is something called the side by side view. Normally, if I am in a gallery view as I am now and a participant starts sharing, for example, it messes up my view of the participants completely. To ensure that I maintain my gallery view, even if a participant is sharing, I can enable something called the side by side view. To do that, again, I go back to the video settings next to the stop video icon and go to share screen and enable side by side view. With the side by side mode enabled, if a participant shares his screen now, I can see the shared screen by the participant as well as the gallery view to my right. I can resize the gallery view so that more participants are visible to me and the size of the shared window becomes minimized. And the final setting I like to enable if I'm the host is to view up to 49 participants in one screen. You do that again by going to the video settings and under the video, if you scroll down, you will see display up to 49 participants in the gallery view. It is currently enabled, which means if there are up to 49 participants, I will be able to see all of them in one screen. So those are my three key settings whenever I am the host. Number one, make sure that your screen does not get maximized whenever a participant starts sharing his content. Number two, enable the side by side mode so you can keep track of the participants as well as the shared content in one window. And number three is to enable up to 49 participants to be viewed in one screen. The next time that you are the host, enable these three settings and you will be able to control your Zoom meeting like a pro.